In this exercise, I'm going to use a myofascial ball to work on the palm of my hand. Any hard surface can do for this, so it could be the top of a cupboard like this, a desk, kitchen work surface, as long as it's a nice firm surface, and then place the ball on the surface and then allow your hand to rest on the ball. So when you're doing this, you want to have some pressure on the ball, but you're not pushing in. If you start to push in, you're going to start to transmit tension up into your shoulder. So there should just be enough pressure so that you can feel contact with the ball. And as you allow your hand to start to relax around it, you can start to experiment by moving your hand very slowly over the ball. So you can come more up into your fingers, the base of your fingers, maybe around into the base of your thumb or more towards your wrist. And as you're doing this, if you feel any points that feel particularly tight or sore, then wait on those and allow them time to release. From a myofascial point of view, if you do find a tight spot or a painful spot, if you're there for 90 seconds to two minutes, then the tissues will start to release and let go. This exercise is particularly good for releasing some of the restrictions that can form in the palm of your hand. The fascia in this area is much thicker than in other parts of your body. And this means that you can do things like gripping and picking up objects, but it also means that this area can get restricted. And in particular, the muscles here from the underside of your forearm, which are called your flexor muscles, come down and they go through the palm of your hand, so underneath the fascia, to attach to your fingers and thumb. And they allow you to grip with your fingers and thumb. Sometimes if these muscles and tissues in your forearm become too tight, they create restriction in the fascia in the palm of your hand. And this can lead to nodules forming at the base of your fingers or the base of your thumb. And they can also lead to conditions such as trigger finger, where a finger becomes tight or stuck and won't straighten, or Deputrin's contracture, which is the same thing in your thumb. So working here with a bowl can really help to start to loosen some of those restrictions and help to undo some of the tension that may be contributing to those issues. So for the other hand, I'm going to use a trigger point ball. For this hand, I'm going to use a trigger point ball. It's smaller, it's more firm, and it means that it can give a more direct pressure, whereas the myofascial ball gives a more diffuse pressure. So placing the ball on the surface again, I'm going to rest the palm of my hand onto the ball and wait for the tissues to start to soften and release. And as I feel this starting to happen, I can start to slowly experiment by moving my hand over the ball so that it's putting pressure into different points. So it could be the base of my thumb, it could be the base of my fingers, or it could be more towards my wrist. So this pressure you'll feel is more intense, but sometimes this can be good because it really can feel like you're getting into the points that are tight and restricted. If you have any kind of trigger finger issue where one of your fingers is restricted in terms of its movement, straighten your finger as much as you can before you do this. So you don't want to roll over the finger itself, but you do want to get into the tissues at the base of the finger in the palm of your hand 
because that's where the restrictions will be that can be contributing to the problem. So when you feel points that feel tight or sore, just wait there for at least 90 seconds to two minutes to allow time for the fascia to start to release and let go. This is another exercise that's really good to do at your desk because you can do this seated or standing and just allowing things to release and let go. And doing this regularly helps to undo some of the restrictions that may have formed in the palm of your hand. <laughs> 